In this video, we shall discuss about a .NET internal subject, heap fragmentation occurring on large object heap. We know that .NET heap has been parted into three generations and a specialized heap region to keep large object which is called large object heap. So out of these heap regions, LOH has more chances to get fragmented. Let's find out the reasons. In order to understand that, we should know how GC operates on these heap regions. First, let's see GC happening on Gen 0. When GC comes to Gen 0, it will collect all the unreferred objects and referred objects will be moved to next gen. So either of these two things, G objects are either collected or moved. This entire heap block will become vacant and the vacant heap block will be moved to general pool of memory. So Gen 0 will be compacted after the GC. But in the case of LOH, consider GC comes here. It will collect the unreferred object just as the same as here. But the referred object will stick onto the same address space because GC cannot move large object. So the spaces cannot be readjusted. Due to that, the objects deleted will become free spaces. This is nothing but the fragmentation. So the side effect of fragmentation is when an object of larger object comes here, it cannot accommodate here. It has to create an additional memory. So eventually the application memory will become increased due to this fragmentation. Let's see now using a demo a fragmentation happening on LOH. I have a demo application to show the CLR theorems. Here consider a demo scenario that a furniture shop has table pair chairs for selling. So he has 10 table object and 10 chair object. Table object of size 100,000 bytes and chair object with 90,000. Now let's go to the memory and see how these objects are placed. For that I have to connect a debugger. I am attaching a live debugging to this test application simulate box. If you have a dump, you can open the dump, but here I am doing the live debugging. Now application has been connected. Now the first thing I am loading the DLL, SOS, this we have explained in previous demos. SOS contain .NET debugging commands. Now we need to print our table and chair objects. For that I am using a command. This command will print all the heap object which is more than the size of 10,000. We can see our chair object, table object, chair, they are in they are placed sequentially. There is no space in between them. This is a before GC condition. Now consider a GC happened on this application. Let's mimic that. For that first I am giving control back to the application so that I can apply GC. Here consider that now furniture shop person sold only chairs. 10 chair pairs removed at the same time table is there in the place. Now a GC has been happened. Now we will see the scenario, I mean how they are placed in memory. I am connecting back to the application using the same command printing all the objects. Now we can see so many free spaces because chair object are picked by GC because they were unreferenced. right? but table objects are still there. This is nothing but fragmented space. Now we will see the side effect too. Consider now a shopkeeper bought five more tables. In order to mimic that go back to application. Add tables. Five additional tables created. But since the table is having 100,000 bytes, it cannot accommodate here. We will see how the memory. 
again connecting back now you can see that there are many free spaces with 90,000 but since the five table object having the size of more than this fragmented space they cannot fill here they now the application has to create additional memory to accommodate new object so this is the problem of fragmentation right so in this example we have proved that the in LOH fragmentation can happen and due to the so many fragmentation application memory can go get increased we request our users to listen to all our dotnet internal videos and debugging sessions they can learn CLR internals and Windows debugging. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.